Okay, this is going to be a fairly quick and easy project of a hat band. Uh, my mother bought a hat in San Antonio and I need to make a band for it. It's mostly decorative. In this case I'm using a scrap of uh, six ounce leather about that I just had some left over from making belts or something and I cut a piece out and split it to size but six ounces is about the weight you want. Um, so we're going to start off with putting a strap end on one end of the scrap. Um, this is all told about 30 inches long. Uh, the hat measures 24 inches around on the the brim where the band is going to go. And this is just going to be a black hat band with some conchos on it uh, that my mother picked out. So I made myself a little template here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the band um, get narrower and wider as it goes around and wider spots for the conchos. So let's see here. We're going to punch one hole near the end. That's going to be sizing hole basically and then we're going to put holes every uh, three inches and I made myself a little template here that I can use to mark both the holes and where it's going to narrow down in between them I'm actually probably going to narrow this whole end, but it helps to have it marked for now and the strap end bunch so I know basically where I want everything to be. And from there I'm just going to mark all the way down the line. And let's go along and punch some holes real quick. Now let's do some cutting. All right, so first off, I want to make uh, the ends narrower because I'm planning on using a half inch Conway buckle to put it together. Obviously narrower than the strap right now. So I need to cut it down a half inch. And to do that, I'm just gonna take a quarter inch off each side back to where I've got these lines marked. So I'm just gonna set my strap cutter for three quarters of an inch. And then I'll take a quarter inch off this one, one inch strap. And basically just run down each side. Till I get the blade where I want it to be. Right around in there. And I turn it over, do the same thing on the other side. And just be careful to keep this pieces flopping loose in here in the way.
There we go. And then I can just use my round knife or utility knife to cut the rest of that out. And I got my tapered end for the Conway buckle to fit on. Okay, now, I have my little jig here, and we're going to clean up this point just a bit. Time to go through and cut all of these little bits out. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing to this end, basically. I'm gonna trim it down some. Probably should have done this before I cut all that off, but we can get away with it. This time I'm just going to set the strap cutter to half inch and run down this side. Because I don't think my hole was quite centered. That's okay. That's basically a decorative hat band, so it shouldn't matter much to have the whole wheel off. Just a little wider there. We're going to put a couple holes on either side of it. Just in case we need to adjust. The original intention of a hat band was to adjust the hat to a size, and then as the hat stretched, it would hold it into shape. Like I said, this is going to be more... Just decorative. All right. And this end's going to be underneath the hat band. But we're going to go ahead and put a point on it, too. Just a little further out. All right, now, let's take an edge beveler around all this. I'm going to go ahead and use my wing divider here just to put a line near the edge. Basically just a crease to run around. And I'm doing it real close to the edge so i got to be kind of careful I don't slip off. Okay, now next step is to dye it black. And even though this leather is still just a little wet from uh, when I wet it down to put the grease on it, black oil doesn't. Black oil dye doesn't really care about that. It soaks into everything. Um, okay, this has had a chance to dry. Let's throw some finish on it and finish up the edges, and then I'll be able to start putting this together.
Okay, now I punched these holes a little undersized for these conchos, kind of on purpose, um, so that I could stretch them out some and sort of force the conchos through. Uh, that'll just keep them from spinning or generally getting loose over time. But these are screw back conchos, they're really easy to put on. Just snug them down with a flathead screwdriver and you're good to go. Alright, except for I need one more concho to fill this out. It's almost done. I'm just going to go ahead and put this Conway buckle on here. The Conway buckles are real simple little things. They're just a spike in the center of a buckle. I'm just going to pop it through like that. And this side's going to go through like this. until it pops onto that spike in the center. Just try it on the hat. <laughs> 